going to do a little comparison of the TK35 and the TK60. Uh, I normally do my flashlight reviews on my other account, but I haven't been able to access it in a long time thanks to uh, Google changing their sign-in policy. But anyways, I'll throw it up on this account. And we have the Phoenix TK35 with the XML LED. That takes four CR123 batteries or two 18650s, and we have the TK60, which is also an XML. Takes three or four D cell batteries. It comes with an extender for the fourth cell. I'm using it only with three right now. It's the same brightness, you just lose about 25% runtime on it. But this is rated at 800 lumens. And this is, uh, I think it's like 820. So, I'll do some beam shot comparisons on my usual backdrop there. It's about 40 feet from me. And I'll shut the lights off and we'll get going. Okay, first up we have the Phoenix TK35. That's on low. You got medium, high, and turbo. As you can see, it's nice and bright. These are the uh, two brightest flashlights that I've had uh, since my last reviews I've done, besides the um, HID spotlights. But there's the Phoenix TK35. Both of these lights have the same modes and strobe and all that stuff, so. But the TK60 is more of a thrower, whereas the 35 is a. Uh, more of a flood. You can see in the beam profile there's low on the TK60, medium, high, and turbo. Uh, TK60 is a little bit brighter than the Phoenix TK35 even though it has less lumens. It appears brighter because it's more of a thrower as a larger reflector. Okay, now we're going to do them side by side. The TK35 is on the left, and the TK60 is on the right. You can see the, the different uh, beam profiles. You can tell the TK60 is brighter, but uh, the the color on the uh, TK60 is more more white than the TK35 is. The TK35 appears a little more of a creamy color, but I think that also helps. Kind of makes it look like the TK60 is brighter because it's just so white. tell how well the TK60 throws. Okay, we got a little more of a longer distance shot here. TK60 still on the right, Phoenix TK35 on the left. There's a building way back there, you can see the TK60 hitting it right there. And the TK35 lights it up, not as much as the TK60 does though. See there's the TK60 hitting it, and there's the TK35 hitting it. So definitely a difference as far as throw goes. Sorry about the shakiness, I'm trying to hold these lights with both hands. So that's just a basic uh, quick comparison of the two lights and the different beam profiles. So any of you guys looking at these two lights, I uh, hope that helps you out. Take care.